Hey guys, this is take three. I was trying to do a live video on my laptop and for some reason it kept kicking me off. So if you saw me blip up and then blip out, I apologize. Now today, first off, let's get a couple things out of the way. My name is Chad Flynn. I run the Electric Academy website. I run this Facebook group and then I also have another Facebook page. So hopefully you guys are cluing into that. I'm making a big push on Facebook live video because I think that there's a lot of stuff out there that is not getting talked about or it should be talked about with apprentices or journey people, and I just wanted to get that out there. Um, so check out the website. If you haven't checked it out before, I know a lot of you guys have, but check out www.theelectricacademy. <clears throat> Sorry, I just got a little emotional. Theelectricacademy.com. Again, www.theelectricacademy.com. That's my webpage in the midst of a redesign. So when you come back and say a couple weeks, it's going to look completely different. It's going to look completely awesome. So you're going to want to check that out. I got a professional designer. It is, I'm so excited about it. Secondly, you want to go to the top of my uh, business page here and you want to download, there's this PDF that I've, I've made that is a bunch of online resources for electricians. And I think it's such a cool time to be alive right now because we've got so much going on as far as online resources for electricians and a lot of you guys don't even know about it. So what I've done is I put together a little free PDF. You don't have to sign up for any seminar or anything like that. You just sign up to this, give me your email and I'll send you the, the free PDF. No strings attached. So make sure you go up to the top there of this page. If you're watching this on YouTube, I will put this in the comments below, a link to that PDF as well. It's awesome. And if you guys know of any more online resources that is not covered in this PDF that I got, let me know and I'm going to throw it in there for sure because I'm honestly, I'm here to help you guys out or hopefully help you guys out. Now, today's topic, and I'm excited about this one, is how to get a raise in the trades, especially for you apprentices out there. This is a big one, right? Because you guys don't want to be working for the 12 15 hour you started out with as a first year apprentice. I think back when I started out, I was at 9 50 as a first year, and then you're supposed to be taking increments up. Well, sometimes that doesn't always happen. Or as a journeyman, you've been working for a company for a while, and you want to make sure that you want to keep your, you know, you want to get some more money out of this, right? You don't want to just start at base level and stay there. So, my number one tip, and it's a huge one, is get noticed. That's the biggest tip as far as getting a, a raise in the trades. You got to be noticed. And how do you get noticed? Well, the first thing you got to do to get noticed is you've got to make sure you got some sort of hustle going on. Never be standing around. If you have finished a task and you're just waiting for the next task and you're waiting for your journeyman or your, your GF, your general foreman or somebody to come up and give you a task, that is going to piss people off. I know because I've been in that situation. I've been an apprentice where I've been yelled at by my journeyman that I should be hustling it and I should be doing something. And I've also been on the other side of it where I've been a foreman and I've seen guys just not doing what they're supposed to be. They're not even doing what they're supposed to be doing. They've done what they're supposed to do, but they're not taking that extra step. So if you have got nothing to do, go ask for something to do. And if your boss is busy, here's a little tip. This is a freebie for you. Go clean the van out. Go organize the van. You all have that. There's a every friggin' van has that box of screws and everything that can be organized that, you know, we're always going to push to later or that bucket of split bolts that has a bunch of rubber tape around it that your boss wants you to cut off. Go do that sort of stuff. That's what gets you noticed, right? Not the guy that just does his job and probably does it well and then just sits back and waits for the next, next task. Don't be that. Pick up a broom. That's something my dad always told me. Whenever you're on a site and you got nothing to do, find a broom, get out there and start pushing it. That's what gets you noticed. Second, if you're working alongside a journeyman, what you need to do is be second, not second guessing, but just thinking about what is their next step. And let me tell you a story. There's two stories I got to tell you. I worked with this apprentice. His name was Sean. He drove me crazy because he was constantly talking, just going on and on and on. And whenever I was working with him, he was just like, just yapping in my ear. So I ended up not working with that guy anymore. I ended up asking to get another apprentice, another couple of apprentices, and we all moved on. But he was never, like, whenever I needed something, I'd ask for, like, hey, can you pass me this? He'd be like, oh, okay, and then kind of slowly wander off and get things. Let me tell you about another experience I had recently. Working in a basement suite, this apprentice asked me to come on over and help him out with something. And so I was looking at it, looking at what the problem was, and I was about to reach in my pouch for number two Robbie, Red Robbie for you Canadians. And this guy already had it in his hand because he knew that's where I was going, handed it to me, and then away I went. And he was constantly doing that. If I needed side cutters, the side cutters were there waiting for me. That's the kind of apprentice you want to be. You want to be out there hustling. You want to be set, thinking about what's the next step. 
And how can I help my journeyman out? How can I help this job move forward? You do that, you start getting noticed. You start getting noticed, you start getting bumped up because you're going to start getting, you know, the boss is going to start thinking, well, this is somebody that can actually do something. So you can start getting more responsibility. And once you start getting more responsibility, it is not hard to ask for that raise. Now, if you're just doing the bare minimum, how are you going to walk up to your boss and say, hey, can I get a bump up here? They're, they're going to laugh you out of the office. Make sure you get noticed. Make sure you get the hustle on. You're taking initiative. And then when it comes time to go talk to your boss about a possible raise, it's not going to be so hard because you know what? You deserve it. That's how you do it. That's, I don't care if you're an apprentice or if you're a journeyman. You have got to make yourself get noticed. It's not just about you know, getting the bare minimum done and I deserve this. Those days are gone. You do not deserve it. You need to work for it. Right? That's all I got to say about that. If you guys can help me out here, I'd like to get these videos viewed more. So if you could just like the, in the comments below, give me a, like a thumbs up or a wow. If you disagree with what I'm saying, just give me the angry face. I would love some sort of connection with you guys. If you could also put in the comments, and I would really appreciate this, things that you think need to be done in order for you to get a raise, right? What, what are some other things you're seeing out there? I already talked about you want to hustle, you never want to be standing around, and you always want to be ready for your journey prison. What is the, something that you guys have seen has helped? And when it comes time to ask, this is where it's the hardest, what would you guys suggest you say to somebody? So I would love to see your comments down below there. I don't care if you're watching this on Facebook or on YouTube, just get it out there because this video is for me to help you out, but let's help each other out. I don't know if you've seen some of the other videos. There's been tons of comments coming through. So keep the comments going. Let's keep the shares going. If you know an apprentice that is looking for a raise or looking at a couple good tips, make sure you share this. Mention them in the comments below. Just let's get the word out about these things and let's just try to make the trades a better place to be. Okay? I know I said I wasn't going to do one today, but... What can I say? I, I'm loving doing the Facebook Live videos. I had a couple minutes. I was thinking about this, and that's the big thing. So remember, hustle, always be moving, and try to help your journey person out as much as you possibly can. Make yourself noticed. Okay, have a great day, guys. It's Saturday, so I should probably go spend some time with my family. They're off at a park at a party right now. They're going to be home in a couple minutes, so I best get downstairs and get ready for them. Have a great weekend, and we will talk to you soon. Bye.